hello everyone today i am going to show you guys how to create the structure of bespoke header in revit but before we start let me remind you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel as i upload more similar tutorials on my channel also if you have any queries or difficulty related to revit you can ask me anytime to create the structure open new architectural template file in revit go to elevation and set level to at 30 feet 0 inches all of the dimensions which i am going to use in this tutorial are hypothetical now go to level to floor plan click on messing inside in place mess click ok Now I am going to insert the roof plan of this bespoke theater on level 2. Now select line and draw the lines on the image as shown in the video from the center. The angle between each of these lines should be 3 degree. Now select the reference point, make sure draw on work plane is selected and place it at the points as shown in the video. The reference points should be placed on these lines only and if you want to have a similar point on the other side then use the mirror command. Now draw a circle from the center towards the end and place it on this reference point. Delete these straight lines. Place a reference plane on level 2 and name it Elevation. Go to South Elevation, select Line, 
set the reference plane to elevation and draw a line from this reference point as shown in the video. All of these reference points are placed on level 2. So select them one by one and then in the south elevation drag it down till you touch this line. But this reference point should be placed slightly below the line. I have forgotten to place one more reference point so draw the line and place a reference point at here. This reference point should also be placed below the line. Now place all the other reference points on this line. Now go to top view of 3D, select model line, make sure 3D snapping is on and join these reference points as shown in the video. Select the arc to join these, these last two reference points. This arc of the circle which I had previously drawn was, is, was used for reference only so just delete it. Join these reference points also. Now select these three lines and click on create form make sure the plane is selected now repeat this process on all of these triangles
this reference point should be placed slightly below its level so make it so place place it at an offset of minus 8 feet repeat this process on this reference point as well The mess is now complete. Click on finish mess. Ignore the error. Now go to messing inside. Click on wall. Click on edit type. Click on duplicate. Provide a new name to the wall. Click OK. Click on edit. I'm going to provide it a thickness of 1 inches. Assign a material to it. And now select this surface to place walls on it. You can reduce the size of the material. So again open the materials dialog box by clicking on edit. Click on this image, a new dialog box appears and change the dimensions from here. I am going to add the width of 2 feet. Click on done. Click on apply, ok. Again click on ok. The size of the material has now reduced. Select the wall and place it location line on wall center line. Change the location line of this wall to wall center line as well. Now place the walls on all of these surfaces one by one. Go to 3D top view, delete the mess, select all of these walls, click on rotate, click on copy, move the rotation point to this point and then rotate it from here to here. Repeat this process till you get a complete circular canopy.
the 3d is now complete and it looks like this I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any queries, feel free to ask. Also, if you want me to upload any specific tutorial, you can ask me anytime. Like and share my videos, leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. I will meet you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care.